assembling the WE120. When you get your 120, you're going to have a blue base with an attached degree bar. It's going to have a vice key and a depth key. It's going to be your riser block, your vice assembly, two inch cap headed screw, and your guide rod assemblies, which consists of a thumb screw, an L bracket, jam nut, the ball joint, and the guide rod itself. So to start assembling, you're going to start with the base first. You note that there's a hole here on the bottom of this channel. We're going to take our riser block. The bottom side of the riser block is the side that has the opening here, the gap. So we're going to stack that with the hole running through it so it aligns with the hole that's in the blue base. Then we're going to take the vise assembly, locate the hole in the bottom of that. We're going to match it up with the hole in the riser block, stack it on top. Then you're going to take the two inch cap screw, flip the whole thing over. There's going to be a couple of holes in the bottom here. You're going to use the hole on the outside. It's the one that's going to line up with the other holes, the one that goes through the riser block and into the vise. And you can usually start this by hand. And then when it gets tight, flip the whole thing back over and pull out your vise key and use that to tighten the whole thing up. That's nice and snug. Now you have the basic part of your sharpener assembled. The final thing we need to do is take those guide rod assemblies. We're going to make sure the thumb screw is screwed all the way out so there's nothing blocking the channel here. And we're going to slide these onto the edge of the degree bar and you want to make sure that this L shape is facing towards the inside, towards the vise, and that your ball joint is also on the side of the L bracket that's towards the vise. So we're going to slide it on like this. You can see a series of detents here in the degree bar, and that's where the thumb screw is going to screw into those detents as you set your angle. And we'll get this one on the other side. You choose your angle, and then you would just tighten those thumb screws into the angle of your choice.